Hi, I'm Greg, and welcome to VR Arcade. Don't have a table tennis table? Don't worry, follow me. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Now, I am a club player, right? I've played competition, and I know what it's like to bounce my ball on a racket. Look at the spin that you can create. I can look, I can even catch the ball. Toss it up, catch it again. You can spin this. Look at the spin on that. It feels natural. There's some top spin. I'll do a, I'll do some serves. I can rebound. Oh, and this guy's still gonna hit it back. That's the NPC. Oh, that's hilarious. The ball machine. You know how expensive a ball machine is? It's like very, very expensive. But I have my own ball machine now. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back in. That's the most important thing, right? Like, if you're holding a controller, does it feel like a bat? It feels like a bat. Like, I've got my thumb sitting on the top of the controller, and it feels really smooth. All right, let's try. What does the serve do? So I have to serve? Oh, he's just gonna serve and I have to return. Oh, wow, is that chop? What type of serve is this? Oh, it's just like a normal return. Okay, cool, and then he can lob so he can smash. That's pretty cool. Can I can I chop smash? Oh, it's, it needs more spin. Let's change the spin so that that has got less top spin. Yeah, that's so now that's a defense. So now I can chop smash. That's pretty sweet because. Now I can adjust whatever I want. This is essentially a simulated ball machine now. I don't need to buy a ball machine and I don't need a table. Three, two, oh, you have to hit it one. into the green section. That's fun. Down the line. Oh, that one. Drive. Yeah, I got a notification. Oh, somebody's requesting the semi's match. All right, let's do this. You have All right. Won. All right, cool. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's one. Oh, missed that. Nice serve. That lag? Didn't even see you hit that. So let's try multiplayer again. Because that guy's lag was like really bad. So you can actually see there's like good connection and bad connections. And I think that was, that guy had pretty bad connection. So you don't want to be playing with the people who had bad connection because then you'll see the ball just skip. So let's go and try and send this guy a connect a, a challenge. I'll send this guy a challenge as well. And then any of them will get a little notification like I did, and then they're gonna play you. Ah, oh, this is good ping, so let's play with this guy. Hello! Let's go casual. Casual match. Oh, I have the ball. You're really bad? Oh no! Okay, I'm just gonna make it easy for you then. Yeah. 
Oh, bad luck. Oh, just down. Ugh. So you can imagine this playing with your kids. Obviously, I've got a younger player on the other side, and you can go easy on them just like this and just play with the ball like nice and nice and easy. Oh. And you can see you can you can all have a lot of fun together. They've got one headset, you've got one headset, and they're in another room, you're in another room. I definitely suggest not standing next to each other. You're gonna smack yourselves. Oh what a rally! This is a great rally! Oh, match point. Here we go. Pressure point. Uh, thank you for the game. So there's a paddle setting here where you can um, make a custom setting. So you can edit the preset. Like for example, I've got my own one here. So I'll edit the preset. I can make it bouncier on the red side or the black side, depending on your backhand and your forehand adjustments. So you can have more attack or more spin or less spin. Less spin obviously equals more attack. Um, and then there's the throw coefficiency, which I'm not even going to touch too much because like that really makes a big difference. So we can make it like less attack and more spinny. Oh, hello, AI bot. Oh, that's definitely better. So now I've got, now it has less attack. So if you find that your stroke is going out a lot of time, like because it's just way too sensitive, just reduce the, uh, the power. I adjust this to my ra racket in real life. So like my racket is a, I'm using a butterfly, Tenergy 05, and they are bouncy. And, and spinny, so I try to emulate that. But this is actually pretty good. Although now that I've reduced the power, it feels more like a hurricane. And then we've got a war. So, I mean, I don't know why you would want to play like this, but maybe there's some sort of training routine that you want to do, but there's war machine, there's AI, there's real players. I'm not sure why you would need a war. But hey, if you really love the war, you can go and play with it. Like classic, right? You, you, you have your old t garage table and nobody's playing with you. And you put up half the, half the table. Oh, hello again. <laughs> I wonder how high I can hit it. All right, let's see how high I can actually go. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna love this really high. Oh <laughs> okay, let's go again. <laughs> okay. Let's go high love. Oh no, sorry. That was too much. Oh, it's gonna headbutt that. I realized it's not real. Wow, that was a nice pickup. Oh, that's pretty high. Oh, <laughs> you hit it on the full. Oh no. Okay. My aim is to get it as high as the ceiling. Oh. No, it didn't happen. Okay. Whoa, look at that! Oh, it's faster. Oops! I can't surf over the table. Okay, let's do a normal surf. And then... Oh, I hit the table. Well, if you hit the table, your racket gets caught. Oh, secret surf! Okay. Oh, nice one. Thank you.